<laughs> I don't know, you took my hands. I was gonna go with it. I didn't take it like that, did I? Oh, it's fine. No, I just like to hold it. <laughs> back to the wedding tricks course we're gonna do the simple dip today let's get right into it okay so we're gonna get into how you transition in and out of this pattern but first let's just go over how we do this dip so let's talk about the setup so what we want to do as always is start by being offset so that means I'm gonna be slightly off to his left and when we're in our dance position we can simply just wrap around like a hug to get to a more comfortable dipping position, okay? So that means my right arm is just up over top and my left arm is just uh, hugging the shoulder. From here, now I want to uh, turn myself a quarter to my left, like so. My weight is gonna be on my right foot and my left leg is gonna be pointing out in front of me. From here, I'm going to bend this leg over my center, allowing this uh, free foot to slide out. We can talk about other options as well. And once we get to this position, he can assist me here where I'm just slightly gonna go back however comfortable I am, maybe releasing the neck at the end and then coming up the same way. So what's really important here is that I don't end up totally off my own center weight. So I wanna be able to do this picture right here at least this much on my own. Sometimes we throw ourselves back off and then expect him to catch us, but usually that always ends up bad for the follower and for the leader, of course, so we don't wanna do that. So just try to bend this leg in the center like a squat, like at the gym or something like this. This one allows it to slide out. From here, we can just lean back and tilt the hips forward to protect the lower back, okay? So what that's gonna look like all together, so we're gonna shift to the side, turn, bend, and lower. And then from there, we're just gonna do the same thing opposite on the way up. So he's gonna assist us with the leading, of course, but we're gonna straighten the leg, come up, he rotates us back, and then we come out of it, okay? Okay, so starting from offset from each other again, I widened my base a little bit. So I'm not as narrow as I usually stand when I'm dancing. Let's say we did a few sways first. As I go to go into this, I widen myself a little bit. I place her hand over the back of my neck here. So she's not gonna just go reach for it. I'm gonna go and place it there as I'm preparing for it, which is kind of most of the lead for this pattern. Me putting it here says we're about to go in. We're doing something now, right? As I go and shift over to my left side, I put my hand on her shoulder blades, I have both hands on her like lower shoulder blades. I rotate myself first. And this is the biggest difference between dips like the around the world or other things we do, is I rotate myself first and then I lower into my left knee in order to drop her down from here, right? I'm trying to leave her down there for too long. So again, it's the most important things. I put the hand over the, over the back, shift to my left side, I rotate her first, and then I bend the knee first to initiate her to bend the knee as well. If I start to drop her from my arms and my hands first and kind of push her backwards, it's not very comfortable for her and I want to initiate from the right places, right? So again, after I've rotated, I bend the knee first to start to lower her as well, and then I can extend the arms to let her go backwards slightly from here too. I'm holding up with my right hand, the one around from the front, not my back hand so much. So all of the weight and all the support's coming here on like the lower shoulder blade. So you can see maybe if I was dancing it with more on the upper shoulder blade, I lowered it a little bit. And as we go into the step, this is the arm that I'm holding her up with. She's holding me here too, and we're both in charge of how much range we give each other. Let's say at, at its lowest point, the most extreme version of this dip, we give ourselves a lot of space and she comes back up again. Let's say in a much more conservative way, we really just rotate and open and then come back again. There's really no better or worse, it's about control. So I shift over, rotate, lower, extend. I bring her back towards me first, rotate her to face me, and then we get to move back into the sway in that order, right? The order of operations is really important and eventually you'll get more comfortable and start to go through it fast. So for here, the hand gets placed, we go and stand on the leg, rotate, soften, extend, 
bring it back up to me again, rotate, and then go sway back into the next thing. But the order was very, very important. So let's talk about like leg and arm options that we've gone over the basics. So once we're down here, uh, easy option for the arm is just to extend out this left arm here. And then um, this arm, like he said, is gonna allow myself to go however far I wanna go. I just don't wanna pull too much here, otherwise we're never really gonna go for the dip because he's gonna stay up pretty tall, hopefully. So that is gonna look something like this. We go out here and then you can just bring it down and up to come up. So without going in the dip, it's gonna look something like this, down and up, or you could just have it low and then swing back up, okay? So that's a nice free arm option there. And then with the leg, we still wanna keep it centered. A lot of people wanna lift it up like this, if you're like really strong and you take maybe like Pilates or ballet or something like this and it's gonna look pretty with a pointed foot and a straight leg, all these things, and it's controlled and you're over your own weight, then you can do that. Otherwise, I'd suggest keeping on the floor or just keeping it underneath yourself in like a figure four kind of situation like this glued to the knee. So it's still up, but it's looking pretty and it's centered so you don't have to worry about that. So say I did that, what's that's gonna look like if we go down? I'm just gonna collect it underneath. Sorry, it's hard to talk down there. And then come back up, lower it before we sway, and then it's all good, okay? All right, we're gonna transition this from the stationary basic and Foxy, which is our cradle, so we're gonna do that. So we do one cradle, step, sway, sway, step, and then on the sway, we can go into it from here. We do the dip, we come out of the dip, we come up and we can go back into our sways and then continue on with our cradle or whatever else is in your routine. You can always add in more sways before the dip if that's too fast, or at the end, just to kind of give yourself time to come out of it. Let's see what that would look like. We did sway before and after, right? So we went one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can just take your time with that, kind of make it how you need to do, whatever is most comfortable really. Mm -hmm. But there's no right or wrong reason of how many sways, just do what's most comfortable for you. In as quick as fashion with no sways before or after, it would just be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then right back into whatever pattern again we're gonna do. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, one two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. You can see she puts the arm down again so I can catch it or I can kind of put my arm up and take her hand again to take back the dance position and kind of move on from there. All right, guys, that's going to be your simple dip. Everybody's got to know how to do a dip. So this is a safe, easy first trick to start in your wedding dance. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you tried it out with a partner. And if you liked this, be sure to check out our full wedding tricks course up on our website under the Balm Fee Pro section. We're going to link it down below um, and we can give a discount code for 20 20% off if you found us from this video. We'll put that down below and up on the screen for you as well. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. We also have a preview up of all the other cool tricks and patterns that we have for you up in there. So you can kind of see a preview of what you're getting. And hopefully we'll see you there and you'll learn some awesome tricks for your wedding dance. Thanks guys. Bye.